Hello and welcome to our reading, devotional reading today for Earn, Save, Give. Uh, this is reading number two. I'm Reverend Ellen Rasmussen, Senior Pastor at Brown Deer United Methodist Church, and my pronouns are she, her, and hers. And we invite you to come learn love so that together we can make an impact. And we are currently exploring some of the best practices for use of our money uh, so that we can be the most faithful disciples. I have a name. Listen to this. A farmer went out to scatter seed. It's from the Gospel of Mark, chapter 4, verse 3. The parable of the sower found in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke is no exercise in gardening. When the farmer goes out to his field to sow, it is an act that could mean life or death for his family. Their economic well-being depends on how well he does his job. In this parable, Jesus tells us how the seed falls on various kinds of soil and in some cases fails altogether. However, the parable concludes, other seed fell into good soil and brought forth grain, growing up and increasing and yielding 30 and 60 and a hundredfold. That's from the fourth chapter of Mark, verse 8. Jesus went on to explain how the word of God can be planted in different people. In some, it will wither and fail, while in others, it will bring forth great fruit. Perhaps one reason the parable is so well remembered is, is that that's what life is like for so many people. I knew a denominational official who had worked for many years in African missions and had returned to America to make films. He watched an African man sowing seeds in a primitive but effective manner and he asked the man for permission to film him sewing because he would like to, it would make a great backdrop for a reading of this scripture. The purpose of the film was to encourage greater giving to mission projects. And this graphic illustration of the text did indeed have that effect on giving. It was like the seed that the farmer sowed on good soil, bearing much fruit. The African man consented to be filmed, but afterward he came up to the filmmaker and asked for a moment of his time. The filmmaker assumed the sower was going to ask for payment, but he didn't. He simply asked, don't you want to know my name? The story was a reminder to all of us that our economic choices are not just theoretical, numerical, or financial. They are tied to real people with real lives who have names and who matter to God. Our economic choices include looking for the best bargains to provide for ourselves and our families, but they also must bear witness to our Savior and they cannot bring harm to others. We ought to know the names of our brothers and sisters who make our clothes grow our food, and build our cars, whether five miles away or 5,000. Once someone has a name, we are more likely to make wise choices in the ways we spend our money. And we close with this prayer. God, whose name is I Am, we are together around this great globe and are your servants. As we name you, Lord, bless us that we may name each other as brother and sister and sibling in one family, in one community, in one economy, one in love and service. And together, the beloved, cherished children of God said, amen. Thank you for sharing this devotional time with me today. Blessings. Go forth as agents of justice, healing, and hope.